Hi there. Thanks for joining me today. So, I was on Pinterest a few weeks ago and I saw this really cute picture of Bridget Bardot wearing a plaid gathered skirt. And I just had to try and make one for myself. This was a really easy project and it took no time at all, so I'm really excited to share with you the process. Alright, let's get started. Okay, so to start this project, I first took my waist measurement and from that point, I measured from my waist down to where I wanted the skirt to end, just for me, about below my knee. I had about two and a half yards of fabric for this, and I folded in half in order to get the skirt cut out. I'm using this cute gingham fabric. It's not quite the same as the picture, but it'll do. I knew I wanted to have panels in this skirt for pockets, so I took my entire piece of fabric and just folded two sides over the other, cutting down the sides so that I'd have panels for the front and then for the back. Here's Emmett sleeping on my front panel. Bye, baby. All right, and then from there, I took my waist measurement, added two inches, and cut out a waistband that was four inches wide. You could probably do this with a little less than two inches, but I was erring on the side of caution. Does anyone else get exhausted when they cut out fabric? Hello! So for our pocket today, I'm going to be using this little pocket pattern template that I found online. It's from a So Stylish magazine, and it's free, so I'm just going to put the uh, link to this down in the description below so everybody can try it if they want to. Okay, I've got everything cut out. I am so excited. I think I'm going to have to do some ironing here just because we're a little bit messy. But these are my two back pieces. There's the waistband, and then this is going to be the front and the two little pockets. They kind of look like lungs. I'm down with that. Um, I'm a little nervous about these guys. I haven't done pockets before that weren't just like sewn straight on the outside of something, like a rectangle. So. Uh, I'm just gonna do my best and see how it turns out, but I think what I'll do first is gather the three panels and then um, get it to the size of the waistband and assess from there. <sighs> We're figuring this out as we go and um, I don't know why I'm so nervous. Like, I've done so many sewing projects before and this one's considerably pretty simple. I think it's just that I want it to be nice because I want it to be something that I can like wear on a regular basis. Like I want this to be an everyday outfit as opposed to a costume. But um, yeah, I gotta just stop talking about it and do it. So I'm gonna get started. I continued from this point by doing a double gathering stitch. It's my favorite gathering method and I think it works really well. To make sure that my panels were all the right size, I laid them down next to the waistband and adjusted the gathering threads and tied them in the knot to finish. Unfortunately, I didn't film putting in the pockets or attaching the panels together, but it's basically a straight stitch around everything. I attached the waistband, finding the middle of the skirt, and pinned it down so I could just straight stitch along the top. I then folded down a quarter inch, half inch, pardon me, <laughs> of the top of the waistband and then folded the whole thing over again and ironed that down as well. I pinned this in place so I could later stitch, it, stitch in the ditch to attach the waistband. This is basically when you're going to be stitching in the seam of the attached waist. So before I could do that, I had to insert the zipper. And this is actually all of the footage I filmed, so I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. The zipper method only had me sewing one half of the zipper at a time, instead of pinning down the whole zipper to the garment, and I like this a lot better than ways that I've tried before. <laughs> 